Saint. I don't care. How? To my bride to be. Today is the day that we have patiently waited for for ever since we each prayed that God would send us that special someone in our lives. God's plan had our paths crossed when we met at Cowie Church during youth, and my life was forever changed from that day. You have highlighted in your Bible Philippians 1.13. And it says, I am in chains for Christ. And it shows me how devoted you are to God and how if it wasn't for you to constantly keep leading me back to God, when I wander, I would be been lost. Jacob, when I started to think about this letter and these vows to you, all I could think of is how lucky am I to love you and be loved by you. Ten years ago, when I walked into Cowie Baptist Church for the first time, and you jumped in front of me just to say hey. Not even knowing your name, I knew you were the one because God whispered to me, there he is, and I never looked back. Samantha, I vow to always love God and to always lead you in His direction as a husband focused on Christ. I vow to keep you safe and be a refuge for you to the ends of my life. I vow that I will always be your greatest supporter in life and be a listening ear when you need it. My home is where your heart is and you make everything better. I mean absolutely everything. I promise to love you for who you are and for who God designed you to be. I promise to help you reach your goals and follow you where God leads because wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you stay, I will stay. Uh, Jacob and Samantha wanted to have an opportunity at this time as we've sung and we've heard these words of blessing uh, in this song. They wanted to invite uh, any of you that would like to come and just to put a hand on them or to, to gather around them and that we might pray uh, just a special prayer of blessing over them. Jacob and Samantha, you are no longer two, but one. You may now kiss your bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Bingham. promise to point you to God, pray over you, and strive to be a Proverbs 31 wife. I promise to love you on the mountaintops and in the valleys. I promise to faithfully love you and to always protect your heart. I promise to fight for our marriage and protect it at all costs. I promise to choose you every day and walk in the way of love. Thank you for loving me and for being my best friend and for choosing me every day. Jacob, you are enough and I love you.